The Height of the Storm by Florian Zeller, translated by Christopher Hampton, directed by Jonathan Kent. Confused? You will be. The Height of the Storm is confusing, and if you're going to see it, it's important that you know that. Otherwise, like me, you'll spend the whole evening trying to work out what's going on, instead of simply enjoying what is a moving love story. Confusion is, I'm sure, deliberate. The question is, why does the author want to confuse us? A few clues would have been nice. We start by meeting a, an elderly man called Andre. Um, it appears that his wife is dead. Uh, but then it seems he's dead, and it's his wife Madeleine who's survived. Uh, other times it could be that they're both dead, or they're both alive. <laughs> These could simply be various possibilities of how life will pan out for this elderly couple. Um, perhaps with the death of one of them, perhaps with dementia. My take is that these are visions of the future imagined by a couple prior to maybe a suicide pact. What we do know for sure is that we're witnessing a couple at the end of their days who've been in love for a lifetime uh, and that they have a bond that will go beyond death or perhaps beyond dementia. Jonathan Price and Eileen Atkins give an um, acting masterclass as this couple. They fill their performances with subtle emotions, uh, not only love, but compassion, confusion, frustration, anger. Their relationship is the heart of this drama and it leads to an immensely sad but uplifting climax. I've read that you need to see this play two or three times to understand it. But look, this play is being presented at a mainstream West End theatre. At West End prices, who can afford to see it two or three times? I give The Height of the Storm three stars.